the National Guard helps and defends our communities in times of crisis. And Brockton city officials say they need help to stop the violence and drug use in schools. But parents are pushing back on a plan to turn soldiers into hall monitors and teachers. Tonight, WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us what led to this drastic request. The half of the school committee that's in support of bringing in the National Guard say that it's staffing shortages and teacher absences leading to these safety concerns. We now know that a dozen students were charged for a melee here just last week. He said there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of fights. He did not say the word safe, but it doesn't sound like he feels safe. Ana Reyes' his grandson is a freshman at Brockton High School. She says he shared stories of fights, drug use, and all-out chaos that seems to start with the opening bell. At a school committee meeting last month, teachers were brought to tears describing what they face on any given day. I don't even like to leave my classroom anymore. I usually will wait until after school to go to the bathroom. But if you support safety in our schools, you will support the National Guard to come in here and keep our students safe. Four school committee members sent this letter to the governor by way of the mayor on Friday, all but begging for National Guardsmen to provide immediate assistance to prevent a potential tragedy, adding our high school has experienced a disturbing increase in incidents related to violence, security concerns, and substance abuse. We're not asking them to deploy a whole army to our school. We're asking for support, especially with the teacher shortage. This was five minutes of pain here for, you know, the four that showed up. But my problem is that I know they're not all on the same page. Some parents argue the National Guard is not the answer. With the new principal put in place just last month, Cynthia Hodges wants to see her elected officials step up, work with them, and iron out a plan. This is not a military school. This is Brockton High School. The mayor, who is the chair of the school committee here, is against this, saying we understand the concerns and fears that these incidents have generated among students, parents, and staff, and we want to reassure everyone that we are actively addressing them. The governor's office tells us they have received that letter and are in talks with the city, although it's unclear when any resolution could be reached. Students are out of school this week for vacation week. In Brockton, Brandon True at WBZ News. Brandon, thank you.